The Pro tablet market has been dominated by Apple for quite some time now with the iPad Pro. Now from recent leaks, we've seen that Samsung seems to be coming out of the gate gunning for that first place, bringing out the Samsung Tablet S8 Ultra with some pretty insane specs. Is this finally the iPad Pro killer? Well, let's find out. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Tech Unafraid. I'm Diego and here in this channel, I help you take the fear away out of tech. So today we're gonna be talking about the brand new Samsung S8 Ultra tablet that's slotted to come out of the market in the next few weeks. Among the many leaks that surfaced over the last few days, there's a rumored event to be happening at the beginning of next month where Samsung is gearing up to hit the tablet world with a bang. Beyond the natural upgrade to the lines of the S7 and S7 Plus tablets, the rumored new Ultra model is really ready to make some noise. Let's talk about one of Samsung's specialties, and that is going to be displays. The screen on this thing is looking absolutely phenomenal. You can't really deny that Samsung's A game is really around screens and displays, and they're bringing that right into the S8 Ultra with a big showing. Some of the leaks are pointing to an insane 14.6 inches 2960 by 1848 AMOLED screen with 120 hertz refresh rate with an S Pen support. That's not just any screen, that's a statement from them. Beyond that, you can expect that many artists, developers, content creators, and designers they are going to be using this device to take full advantage of what this massive screen can bring with the support of the S Pen. Some of the leaks are also pointing to a massive 11,200 milliamp battery versus the iPad Pro that currently packs a 10,533 milliamp. Now, this is also gonna come with fast charging, and despite all of that, Samsung still managed to keep the device extremely thin in pretty much all display and small, thin as 6.3 millimeter bezels all around. Not just that, but this particular screen could be a game changer when it comes to gaming on the go. With Xbox Cloud Gaming Pass being available on the Samsung devices, it really allows you to take this really immersive gaming experience on the go using all this beautiful real estate of screen. For folks who travel like myself and sometimes will bring a gaming laptop, their work laptop, and maybe another tablet, this just means that you have to bring one less device with you. You can really just bring your Ultra tablet, not have to worry about bringing a gaming rig with you. Um, you can just easily connect to it, use the Xbox service, and bam, you have a really, really nice screen to play on while you're on the go. Now, I see a lot of people talking about the infamous notch that was leaked. Yes, there is a notch, but it's a pretty freaking sweet notch, and I'll tell you why. Well, for starters, that's just simply because it packs nothing more, nothing less than two front-facing cameras. Some of the rumors have been saying a couple of 12 megapixel cameras, others have been saying between um, an 8 megapixel and a 5 megapixel ultra-wide. Regardless, there has definitely been indicators that we're going to be seeing some 4K recording footage at 60 FPS using the front cameras on this device. This not only makes it an insane camera for video recording, but also for video calls, meetings, and just using this device to do video chatting on the go. Another awesome reason to be excited about these great front-facing cameras, it's simply because of the return of Samsung's Auto Frame, which allows you to record content using automatic zoom and pan, making the content that you're creating dynamic and exciting. Unlike center stage from Apple that works around video calls, this particular feature will allow you to record videos when you don't have anyone to record it for you. It really lets you just set the device up and then record your reels, record your TikTok videos, or really create some exciting and dynamic content on the go while you don't have anybody to do that job for you. When it comes to the performance aspect of it, well, there hasn't been much competition around Apple's either M1 or Bionic A15 chip. Well, it seems that those days are pretty much over now. According to some of the benchmarks by Hot Hardware, the Bionic A15 is still ahead in some tests, but surprisingly, the new Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 took the cake on one of the tests, and it came very, very close on some of the other ones, making Samsung a clear competitor on this race. 
According to the latest leaks in the RAM and capacity department, points to the S8 Ultra having a support for 16 gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of storage, and also sporting a built-in micro SD card slot, allowing up to a terabyte of capacity expansion. Now, still not the built-in two terabyte offered on some of the iPad Pro models, but definitely more geared towards the consumer that wants a more modular experience, allowing them to purchase a smaller capacity unit and then adding with uh, an additional SD card of their liking and size. In this case, you have more of a pay for what you need experience and the ability to rotate those cards as you see fit. And consumers can expect that these not only come in Wi-Fi variants, but also 5G. Other leaks are suggesting that we'll see this device hitting the shelves with Android 12 overlaid with Samsung's One UI, I think version 4, potentially 4.1, which will include a dedicated Samsung Health app and new modes such as Extra Dim um, and so on and so forth. Now there have been some tangible improvements around the S Pen that have leaked around the market over the last few days. Multiple reports online have mentioned that the new pen will show improvements from 9 milliseconds all the way down to 2.8 milliseconds when it comes to responses, making this really um, a true writing or drawing experience on a digital device really bridging that gap between the physical and digital aspect when using a tablet. I have seen some reports and comments online saying that we could potentially see an S Pen included with the Ultra. Um, I have not seen any tangible leaks or anything around there yet. So this one we'll probably have to wait and see. The price is also another factor that's been somewhat fluid on these leaks. Now, while we haven't seen exact pricing yet, I think you can expect that these Ultra devices will cost right around the same price as a you know middle of the stack level um, iPad Pro. So I'm assuming right around the you know eleven hundred, twelve hundred dollar mark. So some of the early price leaks suggested just over a thousand others are saying right around the one thousand hundred and fifty dollars uh, these are us dollars so i'm not entirely sure what the markets around the world are going to be pricing this for but i know they're going to be super competitive with some of the high-end specs around the ipad pro and in many cases with the comparable specs from the ipad pro you're looking to have a much more affordable device than the ipad pro on the ultra um, you know, again, for much lower price and still making it a super viable option for the people who want to make the jump from either the Apple device or are just now getting into the tablet market. Now, I have been using the iPad Pro as well as the Air as of late, but um, needless to say, I'm extremely excited about the uh, Samsung S8 Ultra tablet because it does bring some cool features and a really, really nice spec set into the market that we have not seen yet. I, for once, will probably get one just to check it out and see how I phase. I know I have been vested into the Apple ecosystem, but now I'm really, really open into making the jump into the Samsung and Android environment um, for a side project or for a side uh, device um, that I can really make a lot of good use out of it, especially when it comes to creating content and being productive. Now leave your ideas, your feedback and expectations for this particular device in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that like button. It really helps the channel a ton. And also if you're so kind, please consider subscribing where I will continue to post videos like this very one. I'm talking about new tech, um, current tech, and also speculative tech that's coming out into the market for 2022. Now I'm gonna leave a cool video right here on the side where you can check out some really cool tips on an iOS device that's probably in your pocket right now. So be sure to enjoy that. Well, I appreciate you watching and until next time guys, I'm Diego, see ya.